Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to. Welcome to the round number two of Endless Rift Battles. Live on Twitch today, once again, for the first, no, for the second time. Why am I saying the first time? I don't know. I'm already confused, uh, which hopefully you are not. If you've seen the first stream, you know what you're about to uh, witness. If you have not seen the first stream, or if you haven't seen anything about Endless before, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lead you into what's gonna happen very, very soon. But um, yeah, just in short words, What's gonna happen today is we're gonna have four amazing musicians live on stream. We're gonna battle it out in uh, small little music battles with improvised music. They're gonna be all over the place. Like, it can sound one way one minute and totally different the next minute. It's gonna have lots of left turns. It might have some tempo trolls here and there. We will see. And um, basically what it's, how it's gonna work is it's all gonna be using our endless app, our music app with, uh, with which you can make live music with uh, with everyone around the world in real time that's just uh, actually the easiest tech uh, like the easiest part of this whole setup that we got running here today once again and um, we got four amazing jammers let me just go through them we got Aurak 808 or Noel Lee Man who yeah is the person who the Noel or rather the Lee Man maneuver is named after we got William Sharkey we got the catfish and we have Bad Rico uh, more on those four people later once we uh, actually start going into the battles but before we do that let's quickly go over like how this is actually gonna happen today so um, they're gonna start out with a riff that we got playing in uh, in endless which is actually not the thing that you're hearing right now I'm actually gonna dial up the riff that they're gonna build on and we're gonna introduce the riff properly after this slide here so we have the starting riff playing and they're gonna pick one layer, two layers, a bunch of layers, and um, then they're gonna start jamming with that. They're gonna take something from that riff and they're gonna start jamming for one and a half minutes and then it's the other jammer's turn and this will go on for five rounds in total. And after those five rounds, you heard them all, you heard what they did, you saw what they did, and that's what you're gonna vote on. So we're gonna have audience votes after every battle, and those audience votes are gonna determine like what the third and fourth match today is gonna look like, who's gonna be matched up with whom. So that's the audience vote part. Um, basically, there are really no rules, so to say. Um, they're gonna use endless, they can use their external gear, they can use just the uh, built-in sounds. But there's one golden rule, which is they cannot undo, they cannot go back. Like, obviously, if they add something, they can mute that layer. But, um, technically speaking, they can't go back to an older riff. That's just the only rule that we really have. And um, from there on, anything goes. They can, they can even bump up the BPM to 999 BPM if they wanted to, which I don't recommend. But we'll see what happens. And um, those are basically the rules. So let's actually get into the riff that's playing right now, and this is uh, what the first battle is gonna start on. Let's go through these layers real quick. So this is actually building on top of a riff from the last final match that we had last time around. Get some nice e-piano here. And some mating call even. We'll get some noise. I think initially that noise, uh, noise came from Ludi. Get some more, sounds a little bit like Mating Call, but not sure exactly. Got a slightly wonky beat. And we get some uh, resampled guitar, courtesy of the uh, uh, community sample library. And we got a bass which is actually fake sidechain to the kick or at least to the one on the on the drum beat but let's not let's not get into specifics here so all of our jammers had a chance to listen to that riff now however the thing is that um, the second battle is going to start with the riff that the first battle is going to stop on so uh, really only the first two people the first two battles uh, or the first two jammers have a chance to build on this riff and they're going to do so and let me actually then just introduce them to you. So here we got our first battle of the day, which is going to be between Bad Rico and Orak 808. Wave to the camera, guys. So 
Um, this is a lovely bunch. So, uh, we got on the left, we got Bat Rico, who's into like more down tempo stuff. He likes to use those samples, and he's our resident shaman on the on the magic island. Um, they, oh, we already got a troll on stream. Is that is that actually a way for us to know that there's gonna be some tempo trolling happening today? Um, I'm gonna see what's happening. So we got some trippy vibes there, and uh, also he's one of the members of the Veltron Transmissions, who are gonna put out a record very, very soon, built on Endless. And uh, and yeah, and then we got on the right, we got Orek808, aka No Lee Man, the Lee Man Maneuver Man, Lee Man Man Nuva. Um, he also likes to do tempo shifts, also likes to use some cheeky samples here and there. And uh, also, I mean, obviously, if the Lee Man maneuver is named after him, we will likely see some layer copying. So keep an eye out for the green, uh, for the green circles. By the way, I forgot to uh, change something here, but now we're ready to go. So before this battle actually can start, though, we need to determine who goes first. Now, I put some effort into building this neat little randomizer right here, which I'm just going to throw on and see where it starts going round and round. However, even though it just now stopped on Bad Rico, I heard some uh, I had some outcry when I told people that the randomizer is going to pick who's going to start first. So rather than doing that, we're bringing back the toy cost or coin toss or toy cost, whatever. Apparently I said it wrong one time, but we're just going to go with it. Um, I don't know why it's not on top, but now it is. So, Bad Rico, it's your turn to say, is it going to be heads or tails? That looks like tails to me. <laughs> okay. Um, I hope that the camera is going to focus in time. There, there's the 5P, the 5 pence. And we're going to throw it now and see if the camera can focus on the thing. And it's actually tails. Is it tails? No, it's heads. Sorry, I'm not very, I'm not very used to <laughs> British currency. So here we go. It's heads, which means actually, Aurac 808 is gonna start us off. So I'm gonna smooth, move this over. Gonna get rid of Toynkos cam. So the audio is live. We got those two playing there. As always, I'm gonna take some uh, moments during the first few rounds to uh, to just like comment on the general procedure. But then I'm gonna start shutting up and just letting the music do the talking. So without further ado, Orac 808, it's your time to shine. And uh, Bat Rico, you better keep up with him. So we're gonna kick this off in three, two, one, go. So for those of you who are not very familiar with Endless just yet, so, he just picked a few layers that he wants to build on. And um, basically he has all the time in the world, I mean 1 minute and 30 seconds, to do as he pleases with this riff by adding stuff to it, by remixing stuff in it, or by taking stuff out. And um, he can cue things up, like he can... For example, if you wanted to sing, you're not gonna hear that live on stream until he actually puts it into the jam. Um, so you're gonna see like a bunch of fiddling, a bunch of knob twisting, and like... Then, afterwards, up there in this little bar, there's going to be a new riff that pops up. That's what you can hear. There we go. He gave us a new beat right there. But he's staying on the rather slow 60 BPM for now. We're in C minor if anyone wants to jam along at home. already coming to the end of the first turn and usually we give we give them like a second or two between turns so the riff can actually sink over to the other person three seconds remaining he's getting in some late vocals and time is up for Aurac 808 so it's over to bad Rico there we hear his late vocal edition So now it's Bad Rico's turn to remix what's in the riff, to add new stuff, to 
to take it into a different direction, why don't you just dial up the VPN? Question in the chat, is key trolling allowed? Well, everything is allowed. The question is if you are gonna like it, they're gonna do whatever pleases you. <laughs> so we got a cool looking breath controller here. Let's see what sounds it's gonna make. And here it comes. Probably tweaking the sound a little bit, adding some more effects on top. And time is up for Bad Rico, so it's back over to Auric 808 over in London. Actually, I didn't even introduce where these guys came from, uh, but you can see it at the top. Bad Rico is sitting all the way in Canada, and Auric 808 in our hometown of London where Endless was invented. They're really driving the sound right now giving us that lo-fi vibe, which matches the low BPM we're at. Giving us some vocals reminiscent of the latest Holy Fuck records. Here comes the gate. Very controversial effects lately, I've heard, or at least seen in chat last time around. Time's up for Arug 808, back over to Bad Rico. So that little synth line there at the end was something he added way at the at the back of his turn there. This time around, we got a little uh, indicator on who provided the last riff. In this case, the O stands for Aura Gate 8, obviously. Or maybe it, stays, it stands for OBS. Because OBS, it's, it's Aura 808. Somebody's asking in chat, why is the gate controversial? I don't know, I like to use it. But there's probably gonna be some people in chat who are gonna be of different opinion. Last editions and it's back over to Auric 808. We're now in round three out of five. Bad Rico early on introduced us to his little tempo troll on his de desk. We're still sitting comfortably at the 60 BPM, 
which I'm a total fan of because that just makes it all more, all the more comfortable. some more beats for us. And we got a faster rhythm now. With now sitting at 67.34 BPM. Giving up for bad Rico over in Canada. As I said last time, actually high BPM is of tactical advantage, because that way you can get more stuff in in your 1 minute and 30 seconds. But it's all about quality, not quantity. Quick notice for everyone who wants to vote later on, on the winners. That's only going to be possible in the Twitch chat, so we got some viewers on Facebook and YouTube. Hi to all of you, and also on uh, Periscope. But only Twitch chat will be able to vote. Looks like we're going to get some vocals soon. That Rico vocals we want. And it's back over to OREC 808, starting round 4 out of 5. What a sensual jam. Now we got the first use of resampler today. drums from Oric 808 on this turn. And it's back over to Bad Rico. Some late turn noise samples we got there from Oreg 808. I got a feeling those late turn editions are usually the more risky ones, but also probably the more creative ones. Because they're just thinking, you know what? Let the other guy have the trouble of pulling like pulling that back into the riff and making it work. So they're volleying ideas back and forth.
here we got Bad Rico replacing his older breath controller controlled synth with a new line and resampling it right away. Back over to Aurac 808. Round 5 out of 5. Soon gonna get into voting. By which metric you wanna decide your winner, that's wholly up to you. Last turn for Aurak 808 in this match. Let's see what Bad Rico makes of this. And now that he knows that only the next girl in the next battle is gonna follow him. So Bad Rico was getting a long loop in there, taking almost half his turn for that. Somebody was asking for why earlier. There you go. Making full use of the shape and the decay and the tone knob on this particular note sound. In the last 10 seconds of this match, and when that counter ticks to zero, I want a big round of applause for these two. And there we go, time is up. <laughs> big round of applause for Bad Rico and Orek 808. You guys can now go nuts as much as you want, because that's going to be the problem of the next two people, while the audience is going to start voting. So please cast your vote now, number one for Bad Rico and number two for Oric 808 only in Twitch chat. If you're watching somewhere else, quickly jump over to Twitch and get your vote in. Gonna leave the vote up for approximately one minute. We saw a lot of love for the breath controller, for the winds. And we got some crazy noise and some crazy sampling and key mashing over from London from Orec 808. There's gonna be a stream delay, but from this moment on, from my end, it's 10 more seconds for voting. <laughs> and the polls have closed. This round is going to Bad Rico. Round of applause for both of them. There's gonna be another match 
up next between our other two contestants. The match after that is definitely gonna star Oreg 808. And then the final match is gonna be... Uh, it's gonna have Bad Rico. Well done, guys. Thank you very much. And let's see what the other two are gonna do with this other riff. But before we get to that point... It's back over to me in the studio for now. Uh, yeah, before we get to that point, there's gonna be a short intermission because setting up the next battle actually takes us a minute or two, maybe three minutes. So stay where you are, keep uh, keep keep stay tuned, whatever. I'm just gonna sh uh, show you some cool stuff that's being made right now with Endless over the internet. Uh, some of these people who uh, who contributed some videos are actually also previous uh, battlers on this uh, stream. So let's switch over to those few, uh, yeah, to, to a short intermission and we'll be back in like two or three minutes. Thank you.
Once again, I have not touched my button to do the sound on stream and I'm getting tons of messages, but this time I caught it. Okay, so we're, we're gonna learn that. I'm gonna learn that. And it's not gonna happen any, any more times. And it's probably gonna happen this stream. Let's see what happens. Okay, so next up, we got a really cool battle between uh, the catfish over in Nashville, Tennessee and William Sharkey. Let me just switch over. William Sharkey over there in uh, Philadelphia. Uh, is it Phil Pennsylvania? Sorry, it's Pennsylvania, right? Right, Pennsylvania, PA. Okay, got it. Um, and they're ready to battle it out in our second match today. Let me fade in the riff that the other two guys left them off. So that's what they have to work with, or at least the first person or well, person who goes first will have to work with. But obviously they can take out all the noise they want and keep only the, the melodic stuff. But for that, we first need to find out who's gonna call the coin. So I'm just gonna start my little randomizer here. High tech for some analog coin cossing. And William Sharkey is gonna call the coin. So William, is it gonna be heads or tails? Uh, I didn't get audio, but it, it sounded, it looked like heads. It looked like heads. All right, good. I'm not a lip reader, but that looked like heads to me and I was correct. That's good. Okay, we're gonna open up Toynkos Cam. It's getting a little bit darker, but I think we'll, we'll be able to manage. And it's tails. Let me see if we can focus on this. There we go. We got tails and we got some last minute camera adjustments over there in Nashville, which is totally fine. Um, although Catfish is gonna start out, but I know he's got he's got a tech guy over there who's gonna take care of the camera for him. And so, if you guys are ready, I am ready. The audience is definitely ready. You can see a bunch of stuff behind him there. But I heard that he's only gonna make use of one piece of external gear that's right in front of him. Okay, if everyone's ready, we're gonna commence the second battle of the night. We're gonna start out with Catfish in three, two, one, go. Go! That's a somewhat different sound. We're up to 80 BPM now. But there's definitely gonna, there's definitely some key mashing and also some low passing here. Now Catfish, he wants to use his external stuff. He's into the shoegaze guitar and FM synth, so we're probably gonna hear some of that today. Uh, there's gonna be some sampling also. While as William, he's more into the slow, dancey, retro vapor stuff, and he's definitely gonna provide us some vocals today. Again, let's go with a cool beat right there. totally different sound than anything we've had before even on the previous stream almost although the previous stream was pretty glitchy as well and it's over to William Sharkey looks like looks like he already had something queued up there which is totally okay within these rules they can basically prepare anything they want they can just they just have to wait until their turn to submit it. If you had told me that the second battle today is gonna spot some IDM, I would have said, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, we got the key masher, which is the IDM tool. 
getting into crazy nice territory today. But there's definitely a chance for a nice baseline in there. Watch I actually interpret it in there. And it's back over to Catfish in Nashville. Catfish immediately taking the riff apart to bring us more into ambient. I would say headphones are a good sub bass, I very much recommend it today. This right now could be a performance by the Skulls. Maybe these two should become honorary members. It's starting to get more melodic in a consonant sense, only just a little bit. Time's up for the catfish, back over to William Sharkey. it up again right as we were on the verge of some future synth is that a mating call it all over the place. One might debate whether a smudged mating call is a good mating call. It's all subject. Oh, there's a. At the end of the turn, there's a quick tempo troll here, and it's back over to Catfish in three seconds. There we go. us up to 130 BPM. And from the look of the riff, he just smudged all the layers. He smooshed them together. And this is actually where our first rule comes, or our only rule really comes into play. They can't go back. So I guess Catfish does the only sensible thing basically starting us up from scratch. It's giving us those sweet not twist vibes.
up. So it's back over to William Sharkey. So what could usually happen is somebody plays something in with external gear and it's in a different key. And you have to make a quick decision. Are you gonna figure out the key? Or are just gonna work around it with the tune knob? Because the label says G sharp, G sharp minor, but that's not true. Sounds like we got another smoosh. it back down to 123 BPM. <laughs> Giving us some 8-bit layers at the end of his, vi uh, end of his turn. Time's up. Back over to Catfish. And he's completely turning the tide. Probably had this line prepared while it was William Sharkey's turn. But this is definitely a different battle than we've had before. Lots of left turns. Lots of moments where everything is smooshed and we only got one layer remaining. Now one is gonna wonder, how is that guitar gonna fit in there? up, back over to William Sharkey. Remember how deep and key mashed and glitchy we started off with? some happy vibes. that glass of water sample remind you to stay hydrated during this match. Time is up for William Sharkey. Back to Catfish. Now it's round five out of five. By the way, if you find the one, let me know, because I'm looking for it. Oh, now it's a little bit more clear. Catfish pushing the reset button once more.
yeah, it looks like we got a we got a new term on our hands. So instead of the tempo troll, here we got a reset troll. Time is up, so it's back over to William Sharkey. What is he going to make out of these layers? While the catfish has been pushing the reset button at the start of his turns, William so far has liked to just key mash them up. Oh no, what is coming up there? A big block of chocolate in this waveform. But I got my fade already. He's crunching up nicely through the saturator. minute vocals and time is up for William Sharkey which ends this match between Catfish and William Sharkey round of applause you guys can now go nuts while the audience is voting I'm gonna start the poll right now type 1 for Catfish type 2 for William Sharkey polls gonna stay up for one minute This was definitely a different battle than the ones that we've seen before. Lots of reset trolling, lots of key mashing, lots of where the hell is the one? But both of them navigated those rifts in a stellar fashion. And it's looking like a very tight race here. This race is so close, but the poll's gonna close in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and very, very narrowly, this one goes to William Sharkey. Very, very close race this time around. So William Sharkey's gonna advance to the last match of this evening. We're now going to take another short break to set up the next match coming in. You guys sit tight. I'll go to the toilet. <laughs> I'll get yourself some water, refill, stay hydrated, wash your hands. We're going to be back in a few minutes with the next half or the, the last or the second half of this show tonight. Stay tuned.
so internationally known. And yet so humble. time we're right back in the studio welcome back those were our first two matches and so next up we got the bronze match and it's gonna be between catfish or the catfish here's a catfish or the catfish he will let me know once he's on on camera with a nod uh but he's gonna play against orec 808 this time around so let us actually switch over to our both uh to both of our jammers and fade in the riff so this is what we stopped on, on the last battle, and uh, Catfish is already familiar with this riff, technically. A very, very noisy riff, I'm gonna fade it in a little bit more once we actually get started, but obviously, as is tradition by now, we are gonna start. Somebody said yay audio, yes, this time around I thought to actually push the right button. Let's find out who's gonna call the coin. <laughs> and it's actually Noel over there in London, Orec 808. What is it gonna be, hats or tails? Looks like hair to me. I guess he means heads. Okay, let me put the camera. Let me put the camera on. It's getting darker by the minute over here. Here we go. And it's heads, which means Orec 808 is gonna start us off. Let's see if he's gonna find a one or if he's gonna make a new one on this one. If you're ready, I'm ready. We're gonna kick this match off in three, two, one, go. like he's sticking with it. Frantically looking through the effects to bring some sense into this.
So I'm very much surprised that he's sticking with this one. But let's see what groove they're gonna extract out of this one. Time is up, so back over to Catfish. Now is he gonna stick with his strategy of resetting? Or is he just gonna strip it down a little bit? Or is he gonna turn it up to 11? Getting noisier by the second. Here we got the break breakdown. For anyone playing along at home, we're sitting at 123 BPM. But don't ask me what key this is. storm of noise and ambience. Now this would really have a place in our new lowercase noise jam on the front page of the app. Time is up. No more smudging for the catfish. So it's back over to RX 808. Like I'm entering a warp hole. Yeah, this is definitely what a warp hole sounds like. If only we had, we had somebody with space travel experience who could counsel us on this travel. Definitely a rhythm now. All right, Gator 8 over there making good use of the XY pad. And making a, a very comprehensible beat. Question is is this one, is this beat gonna survive the catfish's turn? Late second vocals, as time runs out for Orag 808 and it's back over to the Catfish. No reset here, but a new and nasty bass line. Sounds like those late turn vocals from Oreg Italy came in only just now. Sometimes it takes a second to sync everything up. That's the arpeggiator. Turned the tempo up to chip tune. Oh my god! Warping through space and time again. But certainly very melodious. 
think we're out of the noise zone with this one. Timer's saying zero, so it's back over to, all right, 808. If you're looking to take part in future battles, you can sign up on our Discord server. It's a channel just for this purpose. And then you can be on one of the next episodes of Bendis Rift Battles. Slightly noisy again at the end of the turn there. But there's definitely a key this time. Time's up for Orog 808. Back over to Catfish after this last second comb filtering. Feel free to invent new names for new genres that are being made up on the spot here. Fresh pulling out his signature baseline machine. If you wanted to get close to this baseline, you probably want to go for Shiner or Swerve and give it some good fifths. Music kind of feels like it's it's its own countdown. Time's up for the catfish. Back over to Oric 808. thing about those second two matches is all the jammers kind of already know what they're up against. As they've seen each other do their things in the first one. And he's turning it down. 92.5 BPM, bringing some order into this chaos. Trying to tickle some more funk and groove out of this. Get a new one. At least it's not where I thought it was, as is traditional members. Time's up for Orike 808. Back over to Catfish.
both solidly ignoring whatever key that Endless is set to. And happily making use of their external gear. just a match of the Catfish vs. Oric 808, it's also a match between Digitone and Organelle. Whatever we're, but whatever one you're rooting for, they're both friends with Endless. for Catfish, time's up, and it's back over to London. Or I get to eight's time. What a progression we got. All right, 808 queued up some nice, noisy samples for us. High amounts of feedback. Actually, be the first time on the endless roof battles that we've had such a long chord progression playing. And with a 5 1 resolution to boot. Alright, 808's last 5 seconds. Before it goes once more over to Nashville. Nashville. Clock saying zero. Back to Catfish. I was about to call a reset troll, but that was just a case of Leia came coming in late. it up real nicely, almost deep frying us. And since he pulled the loop a little bit shorter, we're only getting half of the uh, usual cut progression that we had earlier. It's only 5-1 now. Remaining 10 seconds of this match and then you the audience gets to vote and time is up for this match round of applause first and then cast your vote press one for catfish and press two for auric 808 you guys can still go crazy but don't make it too crazy, because Bad Rico and William Sharkey in the final match 
they're gonna have to work with whatever you leave behind. This one's also pretty close so far. And the pole is about to close on this match of noisy baroque step. And this one goes to Orac 808 over in London in a little endless hometown. Cheers! <laughs> great job, everyone! That was a great match. Lots of left turns again. That was our bronze match, if you will. And next up, we got our finalists. We got William Sharkey and Bad Rico for our last battle of tonight. But before that, as always, a little intermission because we need to set up that match. So stay tuned. Uh, there's some extra bonus info that you will want to know before that last match. But again, I'm just going to be quick and set up the last match. So see you in a few minutes. Endless is a lightning fast, collaborative music making tool and social network. Our iOS app is already available in the App Store, and next we're kickstarting Endless Studio, a desktop app, VST, and audio unit plugin which brings the same live, collaborative music making workflow to the heart of your DAW or hardware setup. With Endless Studio, you can collaborate instantly with anyone, anywhere in the world using your favorite acoustic instruments, plugins, or hardware. Set up a jam, invite your friends, or find collaborators in the Endless community and instantly start creating, sharing, and remixing riffs. I'm Tim Exile, I'm the founder of Endless, and for 10 years, I was a touring musician, and I've been lucky enough to release on some of my favorite record labels, such as Warp, and to play in some amazing venues around the world, like Bergheim and Fabric, the biggest thing that I learned throughout my career was that music is so much more than just writing records. Music's about people, it's about relationships and coming together around creativity. But I found that the products I was using to write music somehow made me put perfectionism before the people around me. So I started building my own instruments that focus more on spontaneity and creative flow. I've already turned some of these instruments into products that have been used to make some incredible music and blockbuster soundtracks. But I wanted to take it one step further. So I brought together a team of engineers and designers to build a network and a tool that makes music making conversational and spontaneous and that allows us to build relationships and audiences at every step of our creativity, not just when we've got our final masters back. We've involved our community at every step of our journey. So it's a natural fit for us to come to Kickstarter to ask you to back us, to join us on our journey, help shape the product, and get exclusive Kickstarter discounts and perks. If the way we see music resonates with you, then sign up to our pre-launch mailing list 
to make sure you've got the best chance of securing one of our very limited super early bird discounts when our campaign goes live in a few weeks' time. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Tim. Thank you for that introduction to Endless Studio. But if you want to learn more about Endless Studio, there's actually a live stream coming up next Tuesday. As you know, we always stream on Tuesday usually. Um, there's always a live stream with Tim and Fridays. Oh, what's my hair doing here? Um, Fridays usually is for the Endless Rift Battles, as we determined last week. And But also there's another weekly thing that we're starting now, which is Sundays. Um, around the same time that we're doing the live streams, we're doing uh, community voice chats on our Discord server. Just chatting about, just chatting about whatever we want. Um, like if you if you got feedback, if you got questions, if you want to involve yourself in any fashion, just join our voice chat on the Discord server, which is the second point that I wanted to talk about, which is our Discord server is really like the focal point of the community. If you want to navigate some deeper jams, like the dark web, or not the dark web, the deep jam hole, there is another term that we have that I'm not going to say on stream. Um, definitely join our Discord server. This is such a lovely community. We're all very helpful up there and uh, you can find plenty of new gems that you haven't even discovered yet. Um, so that's just what I wanted to bring up before our final match. And our final match is going to be between Bad Rico and William Sharkey. So let me bring up the, the fader. Let me bring up the mix. So this is where we left off. This is going to be an exciting, exciting match. And as always, we're going to start it out with two rounds of randomization. And uh, at some point, we're just going to do randomizing for like a whole hour. And obviously, the outcome is still just going to be 50-50. Let's see who is in charge of the coin. It is Bad Rico. Bad Rico can once again call the coin. Or is it going to be heads or tails? This time it's heads. All right. I got you. So the toin cost cam is on. We want heads, or at least Bad Rico wants heads. Let's see what it's going to bring. And it is in fact heads. So Bad Rico is going to start us off. Let me get rid of toin cost cam. I've got 1 minute and 30 seconds on the clock for the final match, first round. We're starting off with Bad Rico over in Victoria, Canada. 3, 2, 1, go! He's picking out that one nice little melody. The only thing that's not fully distorted yet. And giving us a whole new drum beat. So after almost two matches of lots of noise core and noise step and noise baroque, I got a feeling that Bad Rico is up to some funk. That bass line and that melody over that bass line and that melody. How are they gonna work together? Here we 
got that repeat action that William brought up earlier. However, apart from the drum beat, I'm still going at it rather unstructured. But as you all know, that can change any second. And we got big, big warpy beats. Fluttering all over the place. Time is up, so it's back over to Bad Rico. Round two out of five. Trying to bring back some melody into this glitchy, glitchy key mashed mess. used to the glitchiness falling deep down that hole William Sharkey he's ready for his turn time's up so it's back over
on this channel, so it's back over to William Sharkey. Nice. Smooshing it. Smooshing it into form. He's setting us up for some sunny side up. dance tune, but will he use his turn to also deliver a drum beat to that? Back down to 110 BPM. Certainly a little bit groovier. And he's reducing it to his drum beat. However, unless he smooshed everything else, Bad Rico can still dig it up if he wants. Time is up. Back over to Bad Rico. After this turn at the end of the round. So Bad Rico was expecting to be working with this dancey, dancey noise dance that William was teasing all along. What can he do with this makeshift Kraftwerk track? external stuff and mic in, we're back to stock endless. And gates. That's some piano butt. Piano butt can always use some nice pitch mod. We get into saturate, which also works well. Time's up for Bad Rico. It's back over to William Sharkey. Now there's demand for clun in the chat. However, I'm not sure if it's gonna fit next to that saturated piano butt. I'll be careful with clun here. However, if you want to play around with Clun some more, today we put up the Clun and Bass jam on the front page of the app. William Shaki definitely gets the awards for most smooths per day. seconds remaining. Can he turn them up before it's the end of his turn? Definitely in there. Oh, we get more drum beats and it's back over to Bad Rico. And there we go, now they're, now they're up. This is the last round of this match. It's Bad Rico's last turn. Bad 
Sad Rico you can also provide us some great vocals. So maybe this is going to turn into a vocal battle. Get a good view of Spock over there. And now we get a good look of the ceiling. Probably just a tactical move, so William Sharkey doesn't know what comes next. Maybe he's just going to pull out his hurdy-gurdy. Or maybe a big church organ. We'll know in 25 seconds. up for Bad Rico. Back over to William Sharkey. As this was almost about to become interior design, the stream, but now we got the cameras back up. more saturator here. Just based on the visuals, this really could all be happening in our getting weird with a jam on the front page of the app. Chucky is demonstrating all his tricks that he got. He's not afraid to show us how it goes about building this riff. Knowing full well that these last 22 seconds are all his. He's turning into whatever he wants to. And in 12 seconds it's going to be your turn to vote going to win the final round, the final match of this stream, the Endless Riff Battles. And the match is over. Now it's the audience's turn to vote, while Bad Rico and William Shuck again go crazy in this jam. The poll is up, it's Bad Rico, got the number one. And William Sharkey got the number two. Put them in the Twitch chat. And let's see what happens. Definitely saw some very glitchy, very noisy jams today. Or very, or rather heard some very glitchy and noisy jams today. It got very ambient, got very chaotic, but it also got very melodic. Every week we're gonna have a bag of surprises for you. A new bunch of jammers churning out riffs by the second. Big round of applause, not just for Bad Rico and William Sharkey, but also for the Catfish and Orag 808 earlier in those other two matches. What a great bunch, what a great jam poll is about to close. And the final match goes to Bad Rico. All the way over there in Canada. Not that uh, not that the USA would be also very far away from where we are sitting right now. However, that was a great match. Once again, showing us that even in uh, in the current times, we can all be making music together. And as much as this is all kind of a, an endless riff battle, we've seen some great collaborations today. I mean, they're not just working against each other, they're working together to build some cool music. As Tim, uh, Tim XL put it last week, whoever wins, music definitely wins. So, those were the endless riff battles for this week. 
Thank you all for tuning in. That was a great bunch of jammers. Now, we already got the lineup for next week, but I am not gonna reveal it just yet. Um, however, I can tell you that next week it's gonna be crazy. Believe me when I say that. So, again, coming up this Sunday, we're gonna do a community voice chat on our Discord server. Link to all of that you can find down there um, underneath the video player on Twitch. Um, and also, we got a live stream coming up on Tuesday. We're gonna demonstrate some more Endless Studio and talk about the upcoming Kickstarter. So that's gonna be important. And again, yeah, next Friday, there's gonna be some more Endless Rift battles. So thank you all for tuning in. Um, this has been great stuff. Once more, I'm always excited for Friday evening to get some more cool Rift battles going. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. Thank you all. See you around next time and sign up for the upcoming battles on our Discord server. Just shoot me a message. And if there's any like viewer mail, you can DM me on the Discord server. Or you can send an email to echolox at endlessfm and uh, I'll definitely read it and I will respond. So see you guys next time. Bye.